I'm going to tell you a quick story of what happened to me at the gym today and a lesson that should be learned for you to never do in public. Now, I was at the cable machine and no one was there. No one was there. So I started preparing to do my set, which was to lower the, mach the cable machine down so I can use my legs for my hip raises. And then all of a sudden, this guy, I don't know, came out of nowhere and started yelling at me condescendingly. And he said, what are you doing? Don't touch that. Out of nowhere. And uh, I said, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were using this. I said, whoa, my bag was down there. Can't you see? And then he just, just stormed off like a angry little child. And his bag was there, but it was like all the way around in the corner. I, I couldn't see. I was on the up opposite end. And surprisingly, he went all the way to the other side of the gym to where the bench press was. And he started benching. So he w said he was supersetting between the bench and the cable machine, which I was at, where, where no one was there. So I got angry. And this is something that you should know about me. I have a temper. And the reason I fight... The reason I box, the reason I train in fighting is so that I can control this temper because if it goes out of control, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's not good. It's worse than the Hulk and very few people have seen this temper in its full final form. So he struck a nerve because nobody shouts at me like that, especially a stranger. And nobody talks to me like that. So disrespectful, so rude, out of nowhere. So I approached him at his bench and I said, which one are you going to use, the bench or the, the cable machine? And he said, I'm using both. I'm supersetting them, blah, blah, blah. He started yelling at me again. And that's when my blood started to boil. Now. I'm a boxer. As a boxer, you have to control your temper. You have to control your emotions. Because, yeah, fighting with emotion is not good in boxing, okay? It's a science. But my blood started boiling. And when my blood starts boiling, there's nothing I can do to control. I can make it stop. And he was just pushing all the wrong buttons. And what I had in my hand was the chain that I was using to tie my ankle so I can do my leg raises. And unconsciously, I started spinning that chain. I couldn't stop. It's my body was just taking over. The anger, the rage. I started spinning that chain in front of him. I didn't say anything. And then his girlfriend, some guy right beside me, was saying, you shouldn't spin that chain. I just kept spinning it. And I only said one thing to him. Without emotion, I said, be more polite. And I just stared at him. And I stared at his girlfriend, the guy that he was with. And I just walked away. And I was trying to breathe, trying to control my emotions. And I was waiting for him to make the wrong move. But he didn't. I'll give him that. If he did something wrong at that moment, who knows what would have happened. But what I'm saying is, never, ever be rude or disrespectful to people in public. Always be polite and respectful to everyone that you interact with. Whether you know them or not. Whether you're in a gym or in a train station, or whatever public setting you're at, treat everybody with kindness, politeness, and respect. That's how I was raised. That's how I always treat everyone. 
until someone like this jerk wrongs me. Now, I didn't swear at him. I didn't raise my voice at him. I didn't do anything that uh, would get me in trouble. But if he did something wrong, he'd, who knows what would have happened today. So lesson learned. I hope you uh, can take this story to heart. And uh, yeah, have a nice day, okay? Take care. Bye.